Okay, right here, right now, I'm going to let you in on the biggest business mistake that I've ever made right after this. So the big question is this, how is a tiny percentage of entrepreneurs blow the pack away? What are they doing that we're not? I asked myself that question for 10 years. I was failing forward and getting sick of it. I wanted to build a coaching business, but couldn't make any headway. So I started studying. Them. I realized that the world's most elite marketers, entrepreneurs, and gurus were all using the same four step system. I call it the authority factor. On the show, I'm going to prove to you that the authority factor worked for them and it'll work for you. My name is Ken Dunn. Let's get started. Hey, welcome back everybody. It's Ken here and I'm just coming to you au naturel in my home office today. And I want to talk to you guys about, uh, <laughs> it's a subject that is, it's near and dear to my heart today because it is literally the biggest mistake that I've ever made in business. And I, I just, I can't help but think that there are thousands of people making this mistake right now. Uh, now, that should have piqued your curiosity because there's literally hundreds of mistakes that I've really made. But when I think about scaling my coaching business and getting my business to where it is today, hundreds of thousands of dollars a month in revenue coming in every single month, an amazing team working with me here at the Authority Factory, and thousands and thousands of clients and customers that we're impacting. Uh, it It's taken me 15 years to get to this point. And I... Well, I think one of the coolest things today is that I get to hang out and rub shoulders with some of the greatest uh, online business experts, internet marketers in the world today. And and I get to call a lot of them friends, people like Ty Cohen and Davin Michaels and Gary Vaynerchuk and Grant Cardone and Russell Brunson. And I mean, it just goes on and on and on. And uh, it's really caused me to start thinking about, okay, what did I do right and what did I do wrong over the years? And when <laughs> I, I actually sat down one day and just wrote out a list of all the things that I've done wrong to see, you know, make sure I had connected, uh, fixed all those problems that they weren't happening anymore, but also to uh, make sure that... <laughs> Make sure that I was going as fast as I could. So l let me just cut right to the chase here. I, I'm not, I, I want to talk to you guys about what it really takes to become successful and scale your own seven figure business. And, and there's a whole bunch of different routes that I can go through. But I think the overarching factor in business success is learning, right? Your ability to learn. I just did an amazing interview a couple days ago with Jim Quick. Jim is one of the top mindset coaches in the world today. And he teaches people how to triple their reading speed and how to, to increase their retention abilities. And, and it's learning. Learning is like the most important thing. If I think about the money that I've invested in learning, um, millions of dollars. And the way you learn in business is multifaceted, right? You can go to a webinar where somebody is doing just a very specific training on a very specific topic and you can learn. My, I think the, the best value I ever got over developing my skills and learning, it comes from the coaches and mentors that I've had. I've invested hundreds of thousands of dollars in direct coaching from Russell Brunson, from Frank Kern, from Ryan Dice, uh, John Maxwell, I mean, all of these people that I've, uh, they're the reasons that I am where I am today. Grant Cardone and and, and just a really, really amazing coaches that I've had in my life. But there's another way to learn that now that I look back at it, I, I think that it's number one, it's even more important than having direct coaching relationships in your life. It's a faster way to learn. But I think it's the one that I screwed up the most. And, and, and that's, I hope you're hearing this today, whether you're actually watching this on the YouTube channel, or you're actually hearing this in the podcast, I hope you listen very carefully to what I'm about to tell you, because I guarantee you've done this, you've made this mistake. And you know, when I look back at all the mistakes I've made, this is the one that's cost me the most. And so I'm going to lay it out for you. <laughs> I'm actually kind of like a little bit embarrassed about this. because I've never talked publicly about this before, but it's so freaking important. 
Um, and friends, if you're doing this right now, if you realize that you have this same challenge that I did, then do me a favor and, and go into the chat right now and, and just acknowledge it, like admit it, own it, because you need to get through it. <laughs> so here's the deal. One of the best ways to learn and the fastest ways to learn is attending live events. I'm talking like really major live events. Uh, a good example in my world, and, and you've probably been there too, um, ClickFunnels and, and Russell Brunson, they hold an event every year called Funnel Hacking Live. And they get hundreds of thousands of people that tune in live and virtually and attend these events. And what Russell does, I think it's freaking brilliant, is he brings in all of his top coaches and experts, all the people that he has taught that are now all making like seven and eight figures, a lot of them. And they teach what they did to get there. They teach exactly what they did. And Russell demands of them that they teach in detail so that anybody that's sitting in that audience today, they can leave with the exact things they need to do to amplify, to get where they want to go in life. And I have attended dozens of major events, uh, John Maxwell's major events, Russell Brunson's major events, major events with Tony Robbins, you know, the um, Power Within events. I mean, you name it. But here's where the problem is. When I get, to, when I used to get to these events, what I would do is I would spend all the money I needed to, I'd buy the VIP tickets, I'd get myself into the into the who's who at the event. Cause and that's if you're if you're gonna go to any live events and you don't buy a VIP ticket to, to be at that event, you're missing the boat. You're missing the point of the whole event. Before I before I disclose to you the challenge that I had, I want to tell you, I want to put a little plug in for live events. There's a couple reasons that you need to be at every major live event you can. Uh, and to take them seriously. First and foremost, the people speaking on the stages earned their way there. And when you're there, you get to learn. And any major event that I've been to in the last 10 years, the people organizing the events demand that there's complete transparency from the speakers and they actually really teach at the events. Um, and so you can learn so much about scaling your business by attending live events. The other thing that's important is because you're going to a live event, it's, it's something you can put into your calendar and you can block out the rest of the world for a couple of days. So it really streamlines your ability to learn and grow. But there's another super important reason why you should attend these types of events, these business development events. And it's the people in the audience with you. So what happens is that the relationships you're going to create there, the people you're going to meet today, they're in the exact same spot you are. But as you grow and be, make more money and start doing better, so too will they. They become your running mates. They become your best friends. Those people that you meet at the events later on in the journey, they're going to be the people that are going to promote you. 40% of the revenue in my business today actually comes from joint ventures. And what a joint venture is, it's somebody that's in a business that is complementary to yours. So they don't directly compete with you, but it's the same audience. It's the same type of people. And you can find them in any niche. There, there's all kinds of experts out there like that. And you help each other. I'll give you an example. One of my best joint venture partners is a guy named Ty Cohen. You guys probably have heard of Ty. Ty is probably one of the top experts in the world uh, for selling books on Amazon. And he's got a program called Kindle Cashflow where he teaches people how to launch their books properly on Kindle and how to monetize. And he's helped thousands of people to make hundreds of thousands of dollars. In my business, I teach people to start coaching businesses by writing a book first. But I don't really focus on how to sell them on Amazon. I actually get people hooked up with traditional publishers. So a lot of times it's not necessary. So what, what Ty and I regularly do is Ty will host me. So I'll do a webinar only for his audience and he'll drive all the traffic. So his email list is so massive, he can normally get five or 600 people to show up for the presentation. And I do my full presentation at the end when I invite people into my program and I sell that program for $1,000, I give Ty half the money, 
And every time we do this, Ty makes twenty or thirty thousand dollars. And then I do the same thing for him. He does a live training for everybody on my email list, and I run emails for a week, inviting people to the training. And we typically get about five or six hundred people that show up. And um, it's really great because it's something new to the people on my list that they're not used to. It's something that's invigorating for them, so they show up to it, and. The, we split the money again. So I give Ty half of the money I make and, and it freaking is amazing. I have dozens of joint venture partners like that. Guess where I met them? You got it, at the events. Ty and I have been going to the same events together for years. We grew up in the same communities and we were sitting in the audience as newbies and now we're friends and we promote each other's businesses. So that's the why you should do it. Now, let me tell you the mistake. In the early days, when it was most important for me to be at the events, when I was really struggling trying to get my coaching business to make seven figures and really, really cement it and make it a reality, I would go to these events and I would get into the front row and then within 20 minutes to a half hour, I would get overwhelmed in my mind with all the other things that I had going on. And people would be calling me on the phone and I'd start stepping out of the room to take the calls and I'd start missing information. And then I'd get myself into little private conversations with somebody else who just happened to be in the hallway at the time because I kept thinking I need to meet people. But what happened for me for at least 10 or 15, oh no, it couldn't have been that long. Probably, I, I would say five to 10 years. I went to a couple dozen of these major events, invested tens of thousands of dollars and I'd leave the events not even realizing that I missed them. I was there, but I wasn't there. I was always floating around. I was always, you know, trying to meet people. And I missed all the stage speaking most of the times. I, I, there was like years in a row where I never sat through a single talk. And it, it, it did massive damage to my development in my business. So what's the, what's the mistake I made? Even when I was at the events, I was never really at the events. And, and it was painful. Now, I realize that. And so what I do now, so that when I go to an event, I can be present at the event, is I block it out on my calendar. I tell all of the key people in my life that I am going to be unavailable for those three or four days of that event. And I sit in the room the entire time. I take notes. I've got a recorder going on. And I force myself to stay in the moment. And it changed everything for me. It changed everything about how I operated in business. And that's my advice to you. Because I know there's some of you here right now that are so desperate to get your businesses really cranking, that have been struggling for a couple of years. And you know you've got this, this unquenchable desire in you to go help other people and to monetize that and make money. And, and you already know you're going to events yourself and you're investing in coaching programs, but you're making that same mistake that I made right now. You get to the events and you're trying to do too much for so many people. You're missing time in the room because you're on your phone. You're doing all these things that you shouldn't be doing and you know you shouldn't. And, and it potentially just needed a little slap in the face from somebody like me today to shake yourself out of it. <laughs> um, I, in my company today, we run major events called Easier Life Online. And there's an Easier Life Online event coming up right now. We've had some of the top speakers in the world at our events, people like uh, Grant Cardone and Gary Vaynerchuk and Jim Quick and Amy Landino and Les Brown. And I mean, it just goes on and on and on. And now that I'm sitting on the other side as the event promoter, you know what I do when I go to the events now? When my speakers are speaking, I'm sitting in the front row with them. I'm learning. So I, I guess I had to create my own events so that I could catch up for all the mistakes I made early on attending events. But that's my advice to you. And, and I really hope you take this seriously. If you want your business to grow even faster, you have to learn even faster. The fastest way in the world to do it is attend major events. Get your tickets for these events and um, 
Yeah. What I'm going to do in the notes for the show is I'm going to put a, a link so you can check out ClickFunnels Funnel Hacking Live event. If you're trying to build a business in the digital age that we're in today and you're not at that event, you're losing. And then I'm also going to put a link to our Easier Life online events. We do this major event once a year. We have some of the top speakers in the world at it. And, and they are unbelievable. These, those are two events that you should check out. But when you check them out, when you sign up for the events, get the VIP tickets for them, get as close to the key influencers as possible. And when that event is going on, block out the world and start learning. We'll see you on the next show.